I'm Clark Tedford, President and CEO of Lumathera. We're a Seattle-based uh, ophthalmology company treating uh, patients with age-related macular degeneration. At Arvo this year, we presented our pivotal trial in the U.S. after two years of treatment with a technology called photobiomodulation in patients with intermediate dry age-related macular degeneration. The study results were presented by one of our professors uh, who was involved in the study. And after two years, we saw an improved and sustained increase in best corrected vision. We also saw a reduction in the patients that were progressing to late stage geographic atrophy or scar in the, in the uh, two year time frame. So the clinical data is the third of three clinical trials called the Light Sight Series. The data is in front of the FDA and uh, we're part of uh, an interactive review now, hopefully to bring it to our, our U.S. citizens in the next uh, six months. Uh, in addition, the product is approved in Europe and Latin America. We've been treating patients with intermediate AMD for the last three to four years and have treated over 20,000 patients. The underlying technology is a light-based technology called photobiomodulation. And photobiomodulation targets mitochondria, which are the fuel cells for um, the retinal uh, uh, targets. Our idea with the Valeta light delivery system is to improve retinal health by stimulating energy production and blood flow to the tissue. In doing so, we can reduce the progression of the disease and conversion of those patients to late stage scar. We can also give some vision back. We're very excited that the clinical trials have been very safe and effective and the patients like the treatment. It's a non-invasive treatment that we think has a lot of merit for this disease and other potential ophthalmology indications. What were the findings in this latest study? The primary efficacy endpoint was 13 months between the PBM treated group and the sham group. We saw an increase in vision in the PBM treated groups that was seen at 13 months and sustained out to uh, 24 months. At 13 and 24 months, we saw over 50% of the patients get at least a five letter gain. And by the end of the study, over 20% were seeing a 10 letter gain. So these patients were typically intermediate patients about five years after diagnosis where you're starting to see some vision loss. The importance here is that we are treating the patients early and we can give back some vision and slow the progression to the end stages where you lose the tissue and then all you have is scar. As important, we followed the anatomical uh, pathways over the course of the two years. Duke Imaging Center was our third party mass reading center and what they were able to show is not only are we reducing the amount of druse in deposition, which is a hallmark pathology of the disease, by about three to four fold over the 13 and 24 month time points, but we were actually seeing less patients progress to geographic atrophy, including a lot of the biomarkers were in favor for photobiomodulation treated patients. So in essence, we're giving back some vision, we're slowing progression of disease, we're very excited to hopefully uh, get it through the FDA this year. Please describe what the treatment entails. Treatment really is consisting of three different wavelengths that provide a treatment a little over four minutes per eye. We can do both eyes at one after the other in less than 10 minutes. It's a non-invasive treatment that we can have the patients uh, go through the treatment in 10 minutes with no pupil dilation. They can get up and go about their activities. We do a, a series of treatments over the course of three to four weeks. The treatments consist of about three times a week. If you miss one, come in in the fourth week. So it's a very flexible schedule, very easy for the patients uh, to come in and, and do the treatment and leave. And the compliance has been very good in the trial as well as in the commercial settings. Have there been any notable side effects from the treatment? So one of the important things for a treatment is the safety. And as we've conducted multiple clinical trials and now treated many patients for several years in, in Europe, we've seen an excellent safety record. Photobiomodulation has been developed elsewhere in terms of sports medicine, in closing wounds in diabetic patients, and in other skeletal muscle indications. What we're doing now is using that treatment to improve health of the retina, 
to slow the progression of the disease and it's got a very safe profile to date. How is this treatment administered? Voidalite delivery system is an office-based device, sits on an adjustable table with an adjustable chair. The patient uh, can come into the office and schedule the treatments. They can come and go. It's a it's very flexible schedule. And initially it will be uh, sold to the physicians, the retinal and ophthalmology uh, centers that um, will treat the patients. Ultimately, uh, uh, light therapy is something that could be evolved to a home-based therapy, but today we're developing it as an office-based uh, treatment. Once this has been FDA approved, hopefully by the end of the year, how quickly do you think the treatment will be widely available to patients through their ophthalmologist? We've seen in the last three years significant increase in the number of patients and number of centers in Europe that have adopted it. Um, we believe in the United States this could be a game changer for patients. It provides them with a safe, cost-effective, and easy treatment that they can address early in the disease before you have significant vision loss and permanent vision loss. So we, we believe that the ophthalmology community will be very excited. The patients are uh, clearly in need of something like this that can help their vision as well as uh, slow potentially the progression of the disease. So we're, we're very excited about the results so far and um, obviously uh, we have patients now in the U.S. that are flying to Europe and, and Latin America for treatment. So we're fingers crossed we can bring it to our, our patients here in the United States very quickly. How many patients were involved in this study? Also, what was the retention and compliance rate? Yes, yeah, so the LifeSite 3 was a prospective, randomized, multi-center, uh, double mass trial with a third-party imaging center. Uh, the trial enrolled 100 patients, 148 eyes qualified, and the other uh, eyes were followed throughout the course of two years of treatment with either the PBM or a sham treatment. The um, uh, number of patients that complied, the study started actually during COVID and went for two years, and we were very excited. Over 85% of the patients in the PBM group complied all the way through 20, uh, 24 months of treatment. And in fact, on the last round of treatment, they were 100% compliant. So. Uh, I think the patients uh, uh, were very happy for the opportunity to get a treatment. In fact, we have a National Eye Institute uh, grant that has funded the extension for the Light Site 3B study. It's a follow-up third-year study that allows the patients to continue for another four rounds of treatment and allows those in the sham group to come over and get a treatment. So we're continuing to follow uh, the patient's progress. Uh, for a third year now in the trial. Where can someone find more information about this treatment, the Light Sight study, and your company? Absolutely. If they're, they're interested in more information about Lumathera and our treatments and the, the company, uh, we have several publications and, and information on the website at www.lumathera.com and uh, you can reach out there as well to our customer support and, and speak uh, uh, with uh, people at the company about our, our vision to uh, uh, slow and stop progression of degenerative eye disease. Is there anything you'd like to conclude with? I'd just like to say that um, it's, been a, uh, it's been a long and exciting journey. We continue to see opportunities for the Valeda Light Delivery System, but um, we are extremely excited to hopefully bring this to our patients uh, this year. Thank you for sitting down with us and we are hopeful for and looking forward to this treatment being FDA approved. <laughs>